Hello from communist New York City. Can we talk politics, Trump supporter here? <laughs> you know what? I have got to put that, that playlist together. So many people are sending me emails. I haven't even answered all those emails. I, but I do have. There's no, there's no refuting it. You can follow my, my isometric projections. You can see every element of Trump's life led up to his presidency. You can see all the way holographically how it happens. I need to do some more, some more. I'm, I'm not, like I said, we have some surprises coming. Don't think that, that April begins anything. Cause I'm telling you now, you got some real surprises coming about what's going to happen politically. Is Trump coming back as a president? I don't think so. I don't even see it in, in the calendrics, but I did say what I saw. His life in millennia mirror John Q. John Q, when he left the presidency, John Quincy Adams left the presidency, and his wife was foreign too, just like millennia. But when he left the presidency, his ass came right back to rule the United States from the House of Representatives. He was Speaker of the House. That man, that man still had a political career for another six, seven years after he believes he was cheated out the presidency. Yeah, that's actual history about John Quincy Adams. It totally mirrors Trump and Melania. Even the accusations about Russia that were levied against Trump and Melania were the same accusations well over 150 years ago levied against John Q. Adams and his foreign wife as well. But neither here nor there. We have significant events patterned in the holography of our time space that mirror the events that occurred in 1974 that are about to erupt right here in America. And many of the things I said I said in my Trump videos in January, February, March, and April of last year, some of those videos are 14 and 15 months old that I said about Trump. They have come to pass in shocking perfection. Those isometric projections were not wrong. I said specifically in those videos that many, many people in mainstream media are going to begin falling like dominoes over the next year, year and a half. And we've seen we've seen that. But because it happens so slowly, we learn of this newscaster taking, man, it's always some weird excuse. They're retiring or they're leaving for some reason. But I said all these leftist liberals, these talking heads from talk shows, they're all going to start disappearing. And we see it when Whoopi Goldberg. We see all kinds of things happening, but it's it's only a it's only building a crescendo. What I've predicted is a total takeover of conservatives and Republicans, a total about face, a controlled collapse of, of the Democratic and socialist socialist wing of America, absolutely premeditated by people behind the scenes, and. Uh, it has, it's for a reason, but it's not for the reasons that have been given out in the Q movement, the QAnon movement. I believe that's a PSYOP. I do not believe that the U.S. military would ever give hints out to the general public in the form of codes for them to interpret. That is some fantasy bullshit. No, what we have going on is one arm of the deep state taking out another arm of the deep state for the greater good of being able to to continue with goals un because the best way that the elitist globalists are able to do the things that they need to do like Agenda 2030 is to make the people believe that events are going in their favor. They will be more controllable. So, yeah, I see, I see, it, I see this whole thing is totally different. Trump played a role. Trump played a role 100%. And uh, I, I fell into it, you know, a year, a year, year and a half ago. I really liked him. Uh, I love his rhetoric. I love his pro-American rhetoric. And I will say this, the man, he was a man of the peace during the Trump administration. We didn't go to war. We weren't sending the military out to go kill people. We weren't doing none of that stuff. Uh, the, economy, the economy was really good here in the United States. Uh, other nations really respected Trump. He went everywhere. His speeches were okay. Uh, is he eloquent? Hell no. But, but it doesn't matter. Results are all that matter. And he was putting America first. He was doing all kinds of great things for this country. And that's why Americans love Trump. But I recognize that behind the scenes, there is no way in hell the Trump family descended from Germany are not a part of the globalist elite. There's no way in hell they're not. They are playing a role. Now, but that doesn't mean 
that we're not going to get to see some of the things that we've been wanting to see. Because I promise you, I promise you, you're going to see the Bidens go down. You're going to see Kamala Harris go down. You're going to you're going to see Pelosi go down. The isometrics do not lie. There's going to be an American president removed from office and it's going to start a domino effect. The vice president, president is not going to become president. There's all, kind, all kinds of things about it are going to happen. American people are going to be given what they want, which is a government that they want, but it only makes them more controllable because the next phase, the next phase of the elitist is about promoting a hedonistic peace society where everybody has stuff but you own nothing and you're happy about it a meta society and uh we'll get all we'll get all, all off into that later but i need to go ahead and put that playlist together and amass all those maybe i'll do that tonight maybe i need to quit talking about it just do it tonight because many people are not really familiar with the fact that i have like 15 different predictions videos and i should do it tonight because i have predictions coming out on israel germany ukraine russia oh, some smaller countries too i think it was slovakia or romania thailand I can't remember. I have a whole list. I have a whole, I got, I'm probably going to put them all in one big video 